Hello and welcome. Today I wanted to do a review of the Karuku Wood Radium Saber from Bendu Armory. Now, let me talk about the radium element first. Bendu Armory has different sleeve designs that all fit on top of their removable chassis system. So I'll take this off in just a moment and you can see the removable chassis system, but you can see it in my other reviews as well. So the idea is that if you get one saber from Bendu Armory, you can pop it into any of the sleeves. So I wanted to focus on this sleeve for this review. Uh, first off, let's talk about the model itself, the Radium. Now, Bendu Armory offers uh, Shoto sabers, which you can see here. These are designed as one-handed sabers. And if you see the, uh, the grip on this, is basically, if you're hitting the button here, you have about this much room underneath your hand. Okay, this part isn't really functional, it's just an embellishment. Okay, the, uh, that was the Feldspar. Uh, this one, which is the um, Andesite, I believe, it's much the same. You have about room enough for one hand. Okay, their first model, the Obsidian, is a little bit longer. The Obsidian, if you're uh, hitting right here, you have about half a hand. You can grip the pommel down here. All right. Now, if you look at the sabers themselves, or if one looks at the sabers themselves, it doesn't appear that the radium is that much longer. It really seems to be about the same length as the other designs, more or less. The thing about the radium is that it's designed as their two-handed saber hilt. Uh, so while it's not functionally all that much longer than the other models, uh, the gripping area is a lot longer because you can grip all the way down to the pommel. So there's room enough, if I've got this here so I can activate the button, there's room enough for a full second hand down here with space to spare. So this is their heavy dueling, baseball swinging, uh, double hand model. All right, so that's what the radium's designed to look like. Um, the original radiums had sound vents drilled in them just like all the other sabers. There was kind of sound vents on that. Um, but when they came out with the Atomite staff, which I did a review on, they discovered that the sound vents weren't exactly necessary on some of the longer sabers because the carbon fiber doesn't contain sound like metal does. Uh, it actually allowed the sound through the carbon fiber and it provided a resonance. So this one has no sound vents on it, or the newer models of this have no sound vents on them, but still... <coughs> you've got plenty of sound coming through this thing. So it's not as loud as it would be if it had sound vents, but I kind of like the lack of vents simply for the fact that if you're using this for hard dueling or if you're using it for hard choreography and the idea behind the carbon fiber hilts being something that's designed to be relatively indestructible, uh, this is the saber that you would if you were doing stuff like that. But uh, having no sound vents, uh, a lot of times I'm out practicing, and I live in Oregon, and so it's a lot of mud and stuff like that. So if I drop my saber, I end up getting mud in the vents, and sometimes that mud gets to the speaker. With this one, I don't have that worry. The only vulnerabilities are up here by the button. The rest of this is self-contained, and I could actually dip it in water if I wanted to. I don't know why I would, but uh, and nothing would get through. So that's kind of a neat idea, but it, there is a little bit of cost in terms of sound. It's not quite as loud as it would be if it had vents. All right, so that's the radium uh, design. The, uh, let me talk about the Karuku wood. So Bendu Armory started out with everything being a carbon fiber weave. So what you're looking at with their other hilts, um, this is carbon fiber right here. Um, I'm not, I don't, I said injection molded before, but that wasn't correct. But these are carbon fibers. So if you catch them in the right light, you can see that they actually kind of line up and have a sheen that's a lot like, uh, like, if you've ever seen an old top hat that's made out of beaver pelt, um, it's a sheen very similar to that. Uh, the inside area here is a carbon fiber weave uh, on a lot of their models. So they started doing different sorts of material for that carbon fiber weave, and they started to work with wood veneers. So they've got a few different versions of it. They've got some wood weaves, but the uh, Karuku model, what it is, is uh, it's sort of a burl. So you can see it here. Specifically, this model of Karuku, which was sort of a, or which was a limited run. I don't know if he's got these on the shop, but he might still have some material. This one had little flecks of silver, sort of embedded in the, uh, in the wood. 
but it's a burl that looks a lot like cork, actually. Um, the good part about the burl is it's this really nice sort of organic look, and this is a whole lot more practical than making a saber out of wood. Wood has a tendency to dent or splinter or get damaged much more easily than metal, but with the uh, carbon fiber design, they put the wood veneer on top of carbon fiber, and then they put a clear coat on top of that. So it's easier to dent than the carbon fiber, but it's still plenty durable to do this way, and it has the sort of luster of wood. The downside of it is because you're dealing with an organic grain, you're not dealing with a uniform pattern. In something like the, uh, like the carbon fiber ones, there's always kind of a seam on Bendu Armory sabers, and you can kind of find it if you look for it. See right there, there's a seam where the, there's just a little bit of a stagger in the mesh. Here's the seam on the bottom. Okay, again, the mesh goes through, but there's a little bit of stagger and sometimes some imperfections where the seam hits. Okay, when you're dealing with an organic material like wood, since you don't have that regular pattern, the seam is more evident. So you can see the seam right there on the wood very clearly. All right, also with the wood, uh, in Bendu Armory, a lot of the times, because they're dealing with sort of a fluid medium, they end up with imperfections or inconsistencies, which is kind of cool because it makes each saber individual. But in the wood, you end up with, uh, or you can end up with little divots or wrinkles or bubbles. And because of the wood grain, you're dealing with a lighter color, you're dealing with an organic medium. So all the imperfections are more evident. The good news is that because it's an organic medium, imperfections are part of the medium. So a wrinkle or a bubble or a line or something like that, it kind of looks like what it would look like if you were dealing with wood anyways. They have those sorts of things a lot of the time. So uh, it's more prone to that than their other sabers. If you're the kind of person who wants everything to be clean and flush and pristine, go with something that's more artificially constructed, like a carbon fiber medium or a metal medium or something like that. Stay away from natural materials. But um, if you want it to have that sort of... Uh, uh, earthy Jedi sort of appeal to it, then wood is definitely an interesting way to go. If this were my only Bendu Saber, I'd probably try to trade it for something else, but it's a nice addition to the collection. And because of the fact that it's got that uh, universal chassis system, if I ever decide I'm looking for that sort of wood grain Jedi look, I can pop this on, use it as a two-handed Saber. But if I decide I'm looking for something uh, shorter, one-handed, uh, I can just unscrew it, remove the set screws, pop the chassis out, and now I've got a one-handed saber. All right, so once again, kind of the, the joy of the, uh, the interchangeable chassis and being able to have completely different looks at saber just by having the different sleeves on hand. So Definitely fills a niche. So with the addition of the radium, um, Bendu has the one-handed models, hand and a half models, staff models, and two-handed models. So it gives you that sort of versatility. So I really like this, but that said, again, this radium design is a lot more plain and uh, less aesthetically appealing than really any of their other designs. It's grippable, it's functional, uh, and if you're into this sort of thing, it's great, but it loses a lot of the swirlies and, uh, and interesting details that pretty much every other design that they make works, or uh, every other design that they, uh, that they make has. All right, so this has been the Kuruku Radium carbon fiber sleeve from Bendu Armory. Uh, if, you're, if you've enjoyed this, view, please, or this review, please join me back next time, and I'll look at something else.